bring all the products into the home and set them onto a tarp or a moving blanket. Check the inventory and sizes of the ordered products. Check the width of the window as it relates to the ordered width of the panels. Check the length. Also, make sure you have enough wall space all the way around the window. Check the size of the returns on the panels. Make sure the hook setting is correct. Panels on rod and rings will be pinned at half inch. Check the rod width of the panel by measuring across from the first pleat to the last pleat. In this case, the one-way panel is a 36 inch rod width. Check the finished length by laying the panel flat and then measure the leading edge hem to header. In this case, our finished length is 84 inches. We will be installing a deco rod and rings for this panel. According to the work order, this panel will return to the wall on the left side. So we will count every hook. And make sure we use a ring for every hook, except for the left return. On our work order, we know that the top of the rod to the bottom of the drapery is 86 inches. And we know that we need to add a half inch to that size for standard clearance off the floor. We also know that the top of the bracket is a half inch lower than the top of the rod. So that means the top of the bracket should be mounted 86 inches up from the floor. Mark the wall at 86 inches with a pencil, awl, or a screwdriver. If on carpet, just brush the top of the carpet with your tape measure. We know that our rod width is 36 inches. We also know that our window frame to frame size is 30. We need to install the brackets so that the drapery extends 3 inches on either side of the window frame. But we need to mount our brackets only 2 inches on either side because we need to leave room on the rod for a drapery ring between the bracket and the finial. Line up the top of the bracket with your mark and then install the bracket with a number 8 inch and a quarter hex head or Phillips screw into the top bracket hole only at this point. Before you go any further, double check your floor to top of bracket measurement. Also note and remember the floor to top screw hole measurement. Next, measure from the top of the window to your top screw hole. You want to use this measurement to make sure your rod will be level with the top of the window. Now, take your last measurement. Measure down from the ceiling to the top screw hole. You want to be level with the ceiling as well. Move over to the other side of the window. Using the previous measurement from top of the window to the top screw hole, mark the wall where the top screw hole of your bracket will be. Next, check the previous measurement down from the ceiling to the top screw hole. Lastly, check the measurement from the floor up to the top screw hole. All of these sizes should be close to the nearest eighth of an inch or so. Mount your second bracket using the top screw hole only. Now position the rod in the brackets. Make sure the rod is level. Place one ring on the other side of the left return bracket. Next, install the supplied return angle bracket that came in the box with your draperies. Mark the wall parallel to the bottom of the return ring. Line up the mark on the wall with the screw hole on the bracket. If this was a pair of draperies, you would mount a return bracket at the other end of the rod as well. Try to leave the panel in the plastic bag and tie it at the bottom. Lay the panel over your shoulder. Keep the uncovered panel off the floor and away from your ladder. Always start hanging the panel on the overlap side with the first hook in the first ring. Place the return pin into the top of the bracket. Before we go any further, we need to double check 
that the drapery is at the proper clearance off the floor. If the length is not correct, we will need to either reset the hooks or reinstall the brackets. After we confirm that the finished length is correct in relationship to the floor, we can go back and now install all the screws into the brackets. We are now ready to begin the process of dressing the drapery panel. Before we move on to installing a drapery on a traverse rod, I am going to make a couple of assumptions. Number one, that before you handle the draperies, you washed your hands. Also, when you are finished hanging the draperies, you steam the wrinkles out of the draperies. And also that you now know how to professionally install a deco rod and draperies. As you probably all know, the pin setting for a drapery on a Travis rod is 1 and 5 eighths inch from the top of the pin to the top of the drape. You may have to change this pin setting from half inch, which is very simple to do. Line the bottom of the pin to the bottom of the header and slip the pin in and the top of your drapery pin is now exactly one and five eighths inch down from the top of the drape. Remember, if you're not installing into wood, always use the proper wall fasteners to support your brackets. Attach any and all continuous cord loop fasteners. Lay the drapery panel over your shoulder. Begin hanging the panel by inserting the first pin in the overlap to the first hole of the overlap master. Insert the pin in the first pleat into the third hole on the overlap master. Then continue without skipping any carriers until you put the final pleat into the hole on the end of the bracket. Come around to the side and put the last pin into the back hole of the end bracket. With the panel opened up, we are now going to break the buckram. Unlike draperies on deco rods, where the spaces broke back, draperies on traverse rods need to have the spaces pulled out between each pleat. We need to remove the wrinkles from the draperies now. Sometimes an alcohol-based fabric relaxer will work. 
but for most fabrics, a handheld steamer, used sparingly, works the best. Work from the bottom up as the hot steam rises. Also make sure you steam the side hems as some puckering can be steamed out there. Use your hands as you're steaming also to help work the wrinkles out. Make sure your hands are clean. Keep working on the wrinkles until both you and the customer are satisfied with a job well done.